at the monastery <laughs> yeah this is like the nicest place we've podcasted it's usually in a basement or garage yeah, yeah. so I uh, I've, I've heard the garage door opening you can hear like trucks driving down the alley or, yeah. or, or like the storm door like opening and shutting when like someone's like walking in or out oh uh, no actually usually that's just the wind blowing it uh, oh yeah because yeah, we have the big garage way. door open and then the little one's kind of a jar and it's kind of flapping because uh-huh. we're trying to keep yeah. a breeze going lots of times especially if it's in the, mi- in the middle of the afternoon like three and it's o'clock, a, it's who has the dog <laughs> that's it's my garage and my dog oh, okay <laughs> botchik that's great named after john paul ii's dog when he was growing up actually. there was there was not a small part of me that really wanted to see if we could do this in pambo's pen <laughs> But that's okay. <laughs> oh, hey, man, we still got a couple more. The uh, the one, the, the chapters on the, the dog, uh, il- illusion, that, that would have been great. Yeah. Yeah. Or what, what was the other Dostoevsky we read? Uh, humiliated and Insulted? Yeah. With with the dog, Azorka? Z- yeah, that's Azorka. right. The, yeah, the dog. Yeah. Something about, something about dogs. Yeah. Like, like, like mangy dogs in Dostoevsky novels. Yeah. I think there, there's some sort of a metaphor for human life or maybe it's just a russian thing i don't know (laughs) (laughs) well anyway we're starting here we've got brother maximilian here with us today and uh this is our first non-zoom with one of the monks here which is kind of exciting yeah and uh, first time we've had you right brother maximilian that's right Mm -hmm. yeah so but brother maximilian is not only caught up but past (laughs) past where we're past where we're at so we're gonna try to we're gonna have to like keep him quiet for anything that we're not talking about yeah, today yeah. which is usually what I have to do with Jager anyway so <laughs> it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll be fine it'll be fine <laughs> okay so our plan here today is uh, the third and last interview with Smerdyakov cool. as well as the devil in the dream chapter the devil in the nightmare chapter mm-hmm. and the final chapter of Ivan now uh, it was he who said that now uh, our, our reading actually takes us into the first two chapters of the trial, but we're going to save that for the next one um, because we want to try to do most of the trial together. Um, so we'll we'll start on 12.1 next time and, um, and uh, go through probably 12.9 next time, and then we'll have one more. And then we're going to start talking about the party because... Uh, yes. Like we already know, we already know how to make kvass. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thanks yes. to you. Thanks yes. to you, Brother Maximilian. Yes. So we have we a know how to make kvass. Solid, solid, uh, a solid recipe from Boris. Boris. <laughs> I found a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> so no one should believe that I already knew how to make kvass. <laughs> yeah. I taught that. I just okay. found a YouTube video. I, honestly, I, 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 I'm, I'm a little surprised you didn't know how to make it before. Yeah. <laughs> but but, yeah. but I, all I'm saying, brother, is uh, it was the monks that made kvass. In, That's uh, true. At, at the feast at the beginning. That's right. true. The, the mead the and, mead the, and kvass the kvass were yeah. made in, in-house. Monk have, made stuff. Yeah. Right? I have mead. We have mead. Oh, you do? Uh, we do. Oh, yeah. shoot. But we don't have kvass right now. That's okay. That's on okay. Yeah, it's not on tap. It's just, <laughs> just bottled. <laughs> It'll change soon. Uh, so uh, so let's talk, yeah. let's talk so here Ivan we, here. Here we are. Last part of book Ivan. Uh, I, well, I mean, real quick. So this is the third interview. I think it's, at least for me, it's important to... to you, you you do get something of a hesitation in Ivan with Smerdyakov in the sense that he comes back or he goes to him he comes back to him and then he comes back to him again right, right. so so I think you just get this hesitation in him that something heavy is uh, waiting on Ivan's soul which is to be found in Smerdyakov and so he's going to him sort of and, and I think the fact that it's three times is significant. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't know. I, I, it didn't hit me until w- you were just going through the chapters, and I thought, wow, it's three times he comes back. Yep. Um, and it's I don't I mean I don't know what the hesitation is. I think I know what the hesitation is. Uh, the fact that he thinks he's the murderer, right? Yeah. Um, which was already pointed out in this quasi mystic way right by Alyosha who said you're not the murderer God told me to tell you that yeah um, and then he goes to Smerdyakov and and this third and last interview really is all about 
Oh no, you are the murderer, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, Smerdyakov yeah. wants to say he's the murderer. The devil comes in, right, yeah. And, yeah. and talks about that too. Yeah. Um, but first, Smerdyakov is like, well, well, I wouldn't have done it unless you told me to do it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Which is which is like, who do I believe, Alyosha or yeah. Smerdyakov? Now, I mean, in one sense, as you look at their characters, then yeah. yeah. But but, but I, I mean, but I, but I think what's 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 being introduced, and this is going to come up later uh, during the trial, is what does it mean to commit a murder? What does it mean to, uh, to, to, to be responsible for this? Mm-hmm. Um, so I think, yeah, uh, Ivan didn't swing the paperweight and smash the skull. Um, but I think, like, what is, what's, like, what, what is it, what role did he have in that, I think is. Even the way that you put that, though, what, what is it to be responsible for this? That's the exact language of Zosima and Markle and all the stuff we've been talking about, right, up to now. Like, I, I, I feel like if, if Zosima was still around, he would have been raising his hand and said, no, I, I killed him. Yeah. I killed yeah. him. I'm responsible yeah. for his death, yeah. right? Which, I mean, that's why I was surprised. I don't know what, what your guys' thoughts on this was, but I was surprised when Alyosha came out, and this is, I think, in, in earlier in this chapter, or in this book, mm-hmm. um, and he said, no, 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 God came to tol- tell me to tell you that you're not the murderer, I, I found that somewhat so surprising. I, I had I had a thought concerning that, mm-hmm. and um, the, the 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 thought that I had was uh, really just like concerning the difference between the the ideas of responsibility and blame. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it seems to me like Alyosha would probably be willing to affirm Ivan if Ivan were saying, "I want to like." embrace the good in life and accept responsibility for all of the evil mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In, in, in like all of the world but it seems to me like Yvonne's not uh, it's a motorcycle going <laughs> <laughs> it seems to me like Ivan's uh, not like he's not trying to do that he's like he's like getting wrapped around the axle and uh trying to figure out whether or not he's blameworthy rather uh-huh. than being concerned with whether or not he's responsible. Hmm. Yeah. Blame, blameworthiness in this sense being something different than responsibility. I, I, I think so. I think so. Um, and it, 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 beca- because, like, it, it, I mean, he keeps going back to Smerdyakov yeah, expecting yeah. to, like, find something new. Yeah. He's like, this is the third time he's, like, yeah. gone to talk to him. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, uh, like... I got the sense like he's going back because his conscience won't leave him alone about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I'm expecting Smerdyakov to like tell me something that he hasn't told me yet because he assumes that I'm an intelligent man and yeah. like I just know mm-hmm. like everything that's going on. Yeah. Because yeah. he's a clever man. Yeah. 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 Um, so for for whatever that's worth. And yeah. and I, so I mean this 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 sort of leads into I mean a, a theme of this leads into the third interview. Um, because I am not sure how to. Jeremy and I were talking about this earlier today a bit, and then we thought, okay, we gotta stop talking. We'll just talk about this with, with <laughs> brother. Um, but I'm not sure how to understand Ivan's view of the devil. Mm-hmm. Like, it, does he? Um, and what? And and in many ways, what Dostoevsky wants us to think about the relationship between the devil and and Ivan. Um, because in some ways, I I got the impression that uh, the devil knows everything that Ivan knows, and Ivan knows everything that the devil knows, and in in, in, in in the sense that nothing really new is being told to Ivan, but yet he, he does still get insight. It's almost like you hear the same thing over and over, and then it finally like makes sense, even though nothing mm-hmm. quote unquote new is being told to you. And I I kind of thought that about. Ivan's relation to Smerdyakov, and that, he, in some sense, he did know what Smerdyakov was going to say. At least that's what Smerdyakov says. He says, "You're going to know. You're, you already know this, right?" But um, it's it's kind of making. I don't know if you want to call it making sense out of it. Um, but but I I thought that that uh, what what um, sort of this you you know something, but you don't. Um, fully um see the meaning in it uh right so i and i think that's in some ways what the what the 
the devil is doing. It's sort of drawing out of Ivan stuff that he already knows and believes so that he can like distance himself from it and say, no, I actually can't accept that. I can't really believe that. Um, and I don't because I'm, I find it reprehensible. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, so I don't, so in some ways, I don't know if Dostoevsky wants us to think that the devil is not real because he's just this hallucination figment of your nor yeah. nor is he something that's like like a like a, a physical being that's there i don't i don't, I don't know I, this, i'm just, but just ivan teasing doesn't up like ivan, ivan doesn't believe that himself because yeah. he like throws the glass of water at him yeah at the, yeah. End, at the end of the nightmare yeah and then yeah. and then when when Alyosha does come and talk to him he he, he, he flat out says it was real yeah um, it was real and and, and it kind of goes against it, it kind of goes along with what the devil was saying I, I disproved myself so that you would believe in the end yeah mm -hmm. um, and so this sort of like wake up let Alyosha in and and uh, all of a sudden you 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 look at, and there's no wet towel there's no glass broken um, but he says very specifically, although it, there's 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 this this is page 742 and in our text here, um, and uh, it was he who said that chapter. He says it was not a dream. He was here. He was sitting here on that sofa when you knocked at the window. I threw a glass at him. This one. Wait a minute. I was asleep last time, but this dream was not a dream. It happened before. I have dreams now, Alyosha. Yet they are not dreams, but reality. And and this kind of goes to this. This, mm. this idea that we were thinking about before this idea that dream is reality and 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 somehow manifests the yeah. real to you better yeah. than reality does mm -hmm. yeah. or that fiction does non-fiction going back to this whole theme that Dostoevsky yeah. himself in his own voice in the yeah. preface talks about so, right. so he, goes, he goes on I walk about talk and see though I am asleep I, this is also a theme of uh, I mean this is sort of maybe off topic but not too off topic <laughs> um, it's it's a fragment a bunch of fragments of Heraclitus where he talks about there's those that that live as asleep and they walk uh, but but um, they don't really see what's there before them even though they quote unquote their eyes are open he says they're still asleep um, to the I mean he calls it the logos the Heraclitus does uh -huh. but they're asleep to the real meaning of, of what's of what's there yeah um, and so I think it, I don't know if so when he when he proclaims that it, it it was not a dream, it was real. Like what is, what is he really? What do, I mean? What does real mean? And yeah, and this yeah. might be the question of the whole book because early on, Alyosha is described as a as a realist. Madame Holokov also refers to herself as a realist. Yeah. yeah. The devil. <laughs> refers to himself as a realist yeah you know? yeah uh not a materialist right. yeah. <laughs> and he laughs, laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> which is interesting because it goes it, it sort of goes along the line of of dimitri and the tales in your brain and and all yeah. that thing mm, right yeah, um yeah. If, is that the real um and you know the great the great line of dimitri that keeps coming up in my mind is only a sniveling idiot would believe that you know uh that that all things are lawful and yeah. and uh and and there is no god right um, which is, uh, you know, I think that's getting at what is real too. Right. right. It's the same same sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, no, I, I think that the. the um, Wait, b before we get too deep into the devil. Yeah. Uh, can can we go back to oh, the drunkard, sure, sure. the drunken peasant? The peasant. Yeah. That's right, you that's right. you before we started, I think it was before we started recording. Yeah. You yeah. said that I was, was really important. I was the one that said. I was the one that said we need to talk about this, and then all of a sudden I skip it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a little surprised about that. I'm sorry. I get I get a, I get ahead of myself. Yeah. So um, this drunk yeah. peasant, right? Okay. So this is before the interview. Yeah. This is on his way to. On his way. La last time on his way to, to Smirnov, um, he's. Um, this is right after he says. He, he, he rushes off to Smerdyakov and he says, I shall kill him perhaps this time. Mm -hmm. He thought on the way. End of chapter 7, starting chapter 8, the last yeah. interview. Right? And so there he is, you know, you can just imagine him like storming through the, the, the dark snowstorm. Yeah. Um, and all of a sudden, he, he um, hears this uh, peasant um, singing. Yeah. Ak Vankar is gone. I don't know the tune. <laughs> Petersburg. Well, he probably play. didn't wasn't singing the tune either. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and he probably wasn't saying these words because <laughs> these are English words. That's right. <laughs> um, but but he um, so he's singing and and Ivan um, 
uh, gets upset with him. I love how this is put on the bottom of R707. I even felt an intense hatred for him mm. before he had thought about him at all. Right. Mm. So, so in some ways, um, hatred was was um, visceral. Was just like yeah, like on the forefront. He was looking for something to hate or to kill or, or however you want to put it. Um, suddenly, he realized his presence and felt an irresistible impulse to knock him down. Uh, at that moment, they met, and the peasant, with a violent lurch, fell back. Uh, or fell full tilt against Ivan, who pushed him back first, furiously, and he fell on the ground. And then Ivan looked at him and he said, "He will be frozen." And then he left. Yeah. And he walks on. Right. Yeah. And he just left him. Uh, but what's, I mean, so this is I think interesting. This is jumping ahead a bit because he can't he can't leave him. He doesn't he doesn't leave the peasant. Not just because he comes back to him at the end of the chapter, but because seven ten. 710 um you you don't mean to say you really did not know he faltered this is about um, two-thirds of the way down he right, faltered right before the mis- singing again mistrustful yeah looking with a forced smile in his eyes ivan still gazed at him and seemed unable to speak and then all of a sudden echoing in his head is Akvank has gone to petersburg i won't wait till he comes back right, right? i mean the same tune that the peasant was uh-huh. singing is still like ringing in his in his in his mind yeah right so he's still thinking about this peasant although not like explicitly right well but um, but but i wonder if it's triggered by this comment that smerdikov makes right because he's saying right before that he says yes, yeah. uh yeah you murdered him you did it uh, yeah exactly you're yeah, the real yeah. murderer it was yeah. only your instrument i was only your instrument your faithful mm-hmm. servant and it was following your words that I did it. You don't mean to say that you really didn't know yeah, this. Yeah. And so then he thinks about this peasant who's freezing outside currently, yeah. which probably makes him think, I'm doing it again. Yeah. Right? I, I abandoned, I, I knocked this guy down, knocked him unconscious, and I'm doing it again. And uh, and he's in the midst of doing it, right? Yeah. And, and so in, in a sense, this is this this moment with the peasant, it, it comes back to him which is saying this moment is mirroring what you did to your father mm. when you went to Moscow. Because it, it's almost <laughs> as if what's what's being proposed or what's being tested by Ivan is um, there there really is no murder there, if there's no morality. There, there, right. there, there is no such right. thing as murder right. if there's no murder. And so... Because everything's just then like nerve tails wiggling. Yeah, and exactly. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. All yeah. a consequence of biochemistry. So, right. so, so it seems like that is what's being... Um, um, tested and and it, he doesn't and 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 at the end of the chapter so 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 the idea is one cannot be a murderer when one does not believe murder exists yeah okay but but it becomes pretty clear that he does does believe murder he does think that that mm-hmm. this is this is in life this is something i'm responsible for my actions are um meaningful they mean something right uh and and he he, uh, he when he runs back into the uh, the peasant after he leaves, he saves him and he saves him. He's kind of happy. He's happy. He so gives he, an onion. He's happy. Yeah, that's yeah. right. No, this and and it and, and the story of him saving his peasant is shockingly like the Good Samaritan. I I, I mean, he picks him yeah, up. He takes yeah. him to the guy. Mm-hmm. Pays for him to be like take care of him. Yeah. Um, get a doctor. You know, I'll take care of. I'll take care of him. And, and where where does that? This is on page seven twenty one, and it says uh, he said something yeah. like joy was springing up in his heart. Of course, he was joy because he had this. Mm-hmm. I think because he had this resolution, right, that he mm-hmm. was going to go in there and like come yeah. clean, yeah. At, at the trial and say and, yeah. it's not Dimitri, even though yeah. it says later he hates that monster. Yeah, but Dimitri. Right. But, but but and this is I think this is this is what's fascinating about this is that. He knows, like, here's confirmation that he will confess. And he says this um, at the bottom of R721. It's like r- towards the very end of this chapter. Um, uh, uh, the, the narrator says, I will only say that this business took a whole hour, but Ivan was well content with it. His mind wandered and worked incessantly. And then here, here's Ivan reflecting to himself. If I had not taken my decision so firmly for tomorrow, he reflected with satisfaction. I should not have stayed a whole hour to look after the peasant, but should have passed by without caring about mm. his being frozen. So, so this is like, 
this is confirmation that he does actually believe that his confession tomorrow is in earnest because because he's doing something based on the fact that things are lawful because there there, there, there there is murder yeah 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 Yeah, because otherwise he's yeah what does it matter he could have walked by right yeah um Unless he's going to say in some, like, like really take nihilism seriously and just say, yeah, I did that because I did that. Who cares? Right. Right. I helped that guy. But obviously he has a motive for helping that guy. But Once you have a motive, like this whole uh, everything is lawful goes out the window. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He I doesn't mean, he doesn't help him out of pride, which is what Smerdrakov says. No, that's why you're you're going to go confess tomorrow. It's because you're, you're prideful and, and you want people to say, oh, look how caring he is. And it's what the devil says, too. Yeah. 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 It's sort of. You know, Re- reminds him of that and and here Ivan says no 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 that's not why I'm going to do this it's because I care about this poor peasant that's why I'm going to um, confess tomorrow that I committed the murder but almost instantly the doubt starts coming into his mind whether he actually has the resolution to do it mm-hmm. and I don't think this is a <laughs> I don't think this is this doesn't seem to me to be a lapsing back into an atheism but merely a Recognition of the weakness of one's will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it's, it's, it's. I mean, like, uh, we've read it like uh, so many times throughout the book already. Just like with Dostoevsky, really doing a good job of like providing a psycho analysis yep. of yep. like what it's like for someone to like go through all of the motions and all of the emotions. And, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Because it says right, right after it says, you know, this is why I'm going to do it because I care for that peasant. It says. Um, just as he reached his own house, he stopped short, asking himself suddenly, hadn't he better go at once to the prosecutor and tell him everything? He decided the question by turning back to his house. Everything together tomorrow, he whispered to himself. Mm-hmm. And strange to say, although I don't think Dostoevsky actually thinks it's strange to say, almost all his gladness and self-satisfaction passed in one instant. Yeah. Right? Because this hesitation becomes the, it becomes the doorway for not actually confessing that you're responsible for all. Uh, and, yeah. and most most specifically for this, right? Yeah. So, what do you think made the um, that that um, that gladness and self satisfaction that that sort of earnestness to do this? Why do you think that passed? I, do you I think, think it has to do with the fact that he enters he enters his room and or like, like or do you think it's just he just knows himself? But do you think this next paragraph uh, is sort of an explanation paragraph? as to why? <laughs> okay. Well, he walks in his room and he, he, he looks about and he has this sinking feeling, like um, um, uh, the touch of ice on his heart, like a recollection or more exactly a reminder of something um, uh, agonizing and revolting that was in that room now at that moment. Yeah. And, and that's and this is before. the devil. And this is the devil. So so that that maybe he knows that in his room or maybe in his heart in 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 him in in like the back of his mind there's always those thoughts that the devil has which maybe um are these thoughts of there is no there is no uh, murder there is no god or yeah I, I mean i don't know I, I i maybe i mean i maybe that's why the devil shows up but but to me it seems like the the result of the passing in an instant of his joy is his delay yeah he thought i'm gonna go to the prosecutor right now i mean that totally makes sense uh, okay. yeah, absolutely. and then and then he says okay. eh, everything like, tomorrow it'll be nice yeah. and clean but okay. that nice and clean really is a so i i still have time to back out so i read that everything tomorrow oh, is wow. like this triumph like everything tomorrow i'll do it all tomorrow. no no yeah. i don't think so you, you I, saw it as like a well second best is it's we'll a do deferral it of active love yeah, 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 that's yeah. a good way of putting it. Because it's yeah. like it's it's like the next it's the next thing that he needs to do, and uh, I mean I'm just speaking for myself, but like in moments like that, it's like pretty clear like this is God speaking to me. Wait, He's yeah. like it, trying to lead me to the next right is, thing to do. Isn't there something in the Psalms like if, you know if you don't wait, ask me, ask Brother Max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you like when you, when you like in the middle. I've of only the been night, here for like a year now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that's a lot of Psalms. That is. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like when you, when you, in, like, uh, or maybe it's not Psalms. Maybe it's somewhere in the, in the just in the Gospels or in, somewhere in Scripture. Um, if you, you remember, you haven't done something, wake up and do it um, right then. Is, is this where Christ says to uh, uh, take your, uh, or if you're, you're bringing your 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 gift to the to the altar? 
not that one. No, no, no. This was something like like if you in the middle of the night. Maybe it was something Zosima said. <laughs> Probably. Um, no, it the Russian, is. It this is. is what happens is in Zosima. monastic life. All it, of it just starts bleeding together. It, hey, it is. It is Zosima. It's all true. It is Zosima. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll dig it up. But he says this. He says this. And if 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 you realize you haven't done something in the middle of the night, get up and do it right then. Um, yeah. So the um, fifth gospel. I'll, I'll find it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys can keep talking. I can find it. <laughs> I don't know. It might take you a while there. No. But, uh, <laughs> this is the uh, this is the very active flipping back and forth that you were mentioning. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is, yes, this, this is definitely this, is this definitely happens in the midst of these, and sometimes you you land right on it, but most of the time you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I um. I I really enjoy it. So I enjoyed the chapter about the devil a lot. Yeah. Mostly, uh, I mean, uh, I, I think you, you, you said before we got started, it's just like, it's long, um, but it's like really complicated and there's like a lot there. Yeah. Yeah. There is a lot there. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think his uh, more throwing Jesuits under the bus, which I love. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, read, any Dostoevsky is going to throw a Jesuit under the bus. Yeah, I mean, if there's not a Jesuit thrown under the bus at the end of a Dostoevsky novel, I would doubt its authenticity. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the devil is—I mean, he's intrigued. I have a lot to ask about that. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. There's so there's the, one of the biggest like I lo- okay so. Sorry. I yeah, go you. ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, one of my so like he he's just like I love the fact I love several things about like the way that Dostoevsky p- portrays him. He's like a mooch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's, he's like he's an aristocratic he's, mooch. Yeah. He's an, he, yeah. To, to, to to use a word I, I heard, I've heard a lot on this podcast. <laughs> he's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> And, um, and like, he's like, it even seems like, uh, like he's even willing to admit, like, I'm even like a loser among devils. Like I'm not like Satan with like fire and yeah. like black wings and stuff like that. Which doesn't help Ivan's pride, right? This like is the th- loser that's watching him, right? I have a three foot long tail and I wish I were a 250 pound merchant's wife so that I could <laughs> go and light candles to God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just it, like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. 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 He is yeah. kind of a ridiculous character, and, and even the way that he's portrayed as as um, dressing, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I it's 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 like it's like very very well to do at one time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like three three years ago it was well to do. Yeah, which is why he's hanging out, you know, and and uh, drinking tea with uh, Ivan because he can't afford tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's mooching off of his. Uh, if you want to call them relatives, they're kind of relatives, but yeah. it's 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 more his uh, his charge. Right, uh, mm-hmm. in, a, in a very screw tape kind of way. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, right. the, I, 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 it was hard for me. It's it's impossible for me to like read this without thinking of like uh, C.S. Lewis and yeah. like, his uh, diabolical yeah. ventriloquism. That he yeah, but do. but here's the difference mm-hmm. between uh, a Dostoevsky's Devil and Wormwood and Screw Tape is I I agree with almost everything that Dostoevsky's Devil says. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, Andy yeah. and I were talking about this before this earlier is, today. And then I had to shut him down so we could talk about it on, on uh, the podcast. Say more words. That that he just, he just goes and everything he says. I'm like, I don't know so, that I disagree with that. So here, yeah. here's what I find to be the the most puzzling aspect of of um, the devil in this chapter is Dostoevsky portrays him as um, a grace to Ivan and 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 the devil even says I'm here to save your soul yeah right yeah. Uh, and now it's unclear whether okay are you are you joking are you saying save your soul for or are you lying yeah yeah or lying or yeah. um, but but I, I the way that I interpreted that is um, right I think it was right before that he talks about how faith faith takes hold in someone uh, through through a type of like um, struggle or a type of doubt, so doubt is what like brings brings faith um, uh, um, to, to, to 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 its depths, uh, uh-huh. and and um, yeah. and what what the devil's doing is he's trying to to make Ivan doubt so that he might have faith. And now the devil, interestingly, oh, wow. I mean, I mean. 
because he says, I mean, this is what's weird about this. Very weird. Uh, the devil, the devil says that I am part of this equation. I didn't make the equation. I'm not like the designer of this. This is the role that I play in salvation history. Yeah, right. He's predestined it's to, to deny. It's to pull people away. But yeah. but why do I pull people away? And this is piggy so that there might be more rejoicing over the one loss that was mm-hmm. saved than over the thousand that yeah. Dang. That, that I mean, were never that were never tested and, and pulled that's away. Just Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but I, no, I, but this is like reminiscent of Job too. Yeah, like, yeah. Wait, who reason. comes up in this yeah. chapter? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Job. Job is the. Um, Job is the guy. I mean, Job is the companion book for the Brothers K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you got to read the Brothers first. It's the interpretive key. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, but but or I, vice versa. I I find I, I don't know I I don't know if I'm interpreting all of this right, but that's I so it is it, it lines up with that that idea we were talking about in the last discussion of where sin abounds, grace abounds all the right. more, mm-hmm. and and it's it's sort of. The devil even thinks you marked this word in your book. Even thinks that that he too will be his his evil will be he says reconciled, reconciled. Mm-hmm. for which is yeah. um, somewhat uh, <laughs> theologically suspect for lots of people. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So. I mean, this is the uh, this is the big question of a pocketostasis panton the the. the Restoration of all things at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, we're studying Greek. Right? Yeah, we need. Where's, where's, where's Brother Angelus on yeah, this one? Yeah. That's, uh, he, he's he's on his way back from vacation. Okay. Uh, he should be back today. Actually. You know, you know, he he could be here and he could tell us like what parts of apocatastasis, what it actually means. I, I should know that yeah. too, but I don't because he actually studies his vocab words. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But uh, can I read a few passages about this yeah. idea? Yeah. Okay, so starting at 7.30. Brother Maxman, I'm going to try to keep you up to snuff here. Please do. Um, I'm about, oh gosh, uh, like t- almost... Uh, this is eight hopeless because I'm in a different edition. I know, I know. <laughs> almost eight to nine pages in here. Okay. Oh. Um, what does the paragraph begin with? You can paragraph know. begins with, uh, there's, a, there's a line before that where Ivan snarls malignantly, uh, philosophical reflections again. And then he says, God preserved me from it. So if you can find that section, Mm -hmm. something like that in your translation. Here's what he says. Um, He says, before time was, this is the bottom of 730 for those of you who are following along at home in our translation. Before time was, by some decree which I could never make out, I was predestined to deny. Quote, he puts it in quotes, to deny. And yet I'm genuinely good hearted and I'm not at all inclined to negation. Which is very interesting to hear the devil say. Yeah. No, you must go and deny. Without denial, there's no criticism, and that would. And what would a journal be without a column of criticism? <laughs> oh, this this is. Oh. I mean, this is like but, Re- Rakitin, but, right? But also think about what was out. Yeah, Rakitin and Alyosha. There are all these critical thinking these in the cr- college atmosphere. Yeah, Let's there not are get all into these that. critical journalists. Yeah. Uh, right. I mean, I mean, it's. I think this is. Yeah. This isn't just like sort of smacking. I think this is a commentary on Ivan himself. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, because that's that's what he's writing, yeah. Okay, so he says, without criticism, it would be nothing but one Hosanna. Okay, by the way, as I was reading this, I almost wrote Nietzsche all over everything because there's this eternal yes to all that is. There's the eternal recurrence of the same, which will come up here in a second. I'll bring that up. Um, But he says, without criticism, there would be nothing but one Hosanna. But nothing but Hosanna is not enough for life. The Hosanna must be tried in the crucible of doubt and so on in the same style. Yeah. so he, he goes on, he says, um, but I don't meddle in that. I didn't create it. I'm not answerable for it. Well, they've chosen their scapegoat. They've made me write the column of criticism, so, so, and so life was made possible. We understand that comedy. I, for instance, simply ask for annihilation. No, live, I am told, for there'd be nothing without you. Now, that's almost quoting John fifteen five, right? Without me. You can do nothing. Mm-hmm. If everything in the universe were sensible, nothing would happen. There would be no events without you, and there must be events. Mm-hmm. So against the grain, I serve to produce events and do what's irrational because I'm commanded to. For all their indisputable intelligence, men take this farce as something serious, and that is their tragedy. They suffer, of course, but when they live, they live a real life, not a fantastic one, for suffering is life. Mm. 
Without suffering, what would be the pleasure of it? It would be transformed into an endless church service. It would be holy oh, but tedious. I, I love that. <laughs> but what about me? I suffer, but still I don't live. I am X in an indeterminate equation. I am a sort of phantom in life who has lost all beginning and end and who has even forgotten his own name. So there's this idea that in order for life to be as glorious as it is, in order for the Hosanna of creation to, to resound in... Uh, you know, to use the language of beauty again, right? Yeah. To, to be the, the glory of God resounding in the icon of creation. There has to be a response to doubt and criticism or else it's not true life. There has to be suffering or it's not true life, right? Live, laugh, suffer. What's that? Live, laugh, suffer. <laughs> Live, laugh, suffer. That's like me. Keep it listening. <laughs> And, right. and and as I read this, you know, I know this is the devil talking, but man, he's right. <laughs> uh -huh. And 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 you really got to ask the question of the mystery of predestination and the mystery of sin, and um, whether or not you know this is required for the glory of God to truly shine forth what He is, which is the Trinitarian sort of self gift, the the, the self emptying of the persons of the Trinity, mm -hmm. that in a Maybe, I mean, this is this is my speculation, theological speculation based on uh, the revelation of the devil here. Um, <laughs> maybe the, the only way to demonstrate the, the self-gift of the Trinity in a created way is to do it through suffering and, and crucifixion. It, I mean, well, we were kind of talking about this earlier. Yeah. And so Christ is born. Yeah. yeah. And that, and therefore Christ is, is, is the heart of creation. So, mm -hmm. so maybe, maybe what the, what the, what the devil is, um, proclaiming here is the, uh, the, 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 oh, happy fault. Right. right. Like, like this is, this, this is something which in some sense, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to say needed in like, I mean, well, maybe, I mean, it's, it, it's in the, it's in the, like the Easter vigil though. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. necessary sin of Adam. Right. Like, necessary sin of Adam. So greater redeemer. Yeah. yeah. So I, so the happy fault is one thing, right? And, but usually the way that we take, at least uh, l let me just, I don't, I don't know if we take it this way, but this is the way I've took it, taken it for years and years. So you're the theology professor. Here. Yeah. Which is, <laughs> which is, which is why this is really bad that I took it this way. I, I always took it to be like, oh, life would have been awesome. But now it can be a little bit better now that Jesus came, right? Um, and so we see Jesus as sort of an add-on uh, that right. makes life a little bit better. He's a band-aid. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but not just a band-aid. Like he, he's like the place, like the place where the bone broke is now stronger, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, or, or if we want to use woodworking terminology, where you put the wood glue is actually stronger than wood itself. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> if you get the good stuff. Yeah. But, uh, but I, I think, I think with 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 your you're pointing out right that the necessary sin of adam it seems to agree with the dostoevsky's devil right. that in fact it's necessary for there to be for there to be a hosanna there must be suffering mm -hmm. otherwise there's not a created hosanna mm -hmm. which is uh i mean let me re can i read a little more yeah <laughs> okay. okay okay so what else are we <laughs> now we're moving ahead here wait can or can we? Are we going to yeah, go yeah. back to the so right where you finished the, the merchant's wife? Okay, okay. Can yeah. we say something about that? Or yeah, no. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so I thought this was interesting, and I wasn't sure. I didn't know what he meant by this at first. And I kept I'm meaning slow. to look up what eighteen stone was, but yeah. uh, I've, I, you know, what's the conversion? But yeah. you, but you gave it to us. So it, it's in my, it was in my translation. Uh, okay, uh, it's like yes, just a very heavy yeah. merchant's wife. Very, very, <laughs> very heavy large woman. Merchant wife. Okay. okay. <laughs> um. So so here's here's what he says, and and I I, I think this is. This is fascinating. This is a very Nietzschean thing, interestingly, too. Uh, you are forever, forever angry. All you care about is intelligence. But I repeat again that I would give away all this superstellar life, all the ranks and honors, every motorcycle. <laughs> every, mo every motorcycle. Not just that one. <laughs> <laughs> Simply to be transformed into the soul of a merchant's wife, weighing 18 stone, and set candles at God's shrine. So I didn't know what that really meant at first, yeah. um, or what what he what he means by this. But I, but I take it like just a simple-minded peasant who doesn't know anything about God except for you light candles to God and doesn't know anything about 
brains and anything about you know <laughs> tails and brains tails <laughs> and, you know why the sun rises just just simple yeah you know, stupid he's like that's what i would want and and to actually be able to live in the world in that simple faith way yeah mm-hmm. um not like ivan who cares about intelligence trying to flee from that but mm-hmm. sort of that is um that's what i want. and that comes after all of this like i suffer so that like people can live that yeah right yeah yeah, no, I, so I, I don't. I don't know if that's the interpretation. But I, interestingly I like, enough, though, that makes me. What so it reminded way, me of was uh, Alyosha's mother, right? It wasn't yeah. his like earliest recollection was his mother lighting candles in church. Yeah, in church. and holding him up to the. Uh, and she was seen as the crazy woman who wasn't very smart. I mean, she came from like a, a, a lower class family, yeah. and everybody was like, "Why are you marrying her?" And of course, it was because of essentialism. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, he's an insect. Because <laughs> he's an insect, yeah. as we all are. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I wonder if this is like pointing back to that, saying like, here's what, and and and, and even Rakitin says, yeah. uh, you're a Karamazov. You come from your mother as a saint, and yet you come from your father as a sensualist. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So and, and it's you it's, don't make sense. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it's a sort of. Uh, I mean, I took it here as the the devil's kind of lamenting. Um, um, uh, I wish I could think about the world in that way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wish I could. I wish I could have that type of perspective. Yeah. That type of faith. Mm-hmm. And, and now th- that is also something that Nietzsche oddly it says yeah no one can ever think that way anymore but it's yeah. kind of tragic that we've disenchanted the world we yeah. can't see the world as magical yeah we can't see it as filled with spirit it's now just dead so which is um, which, that, which that, is dimitri, that's a lament that's a lament which is right? dimitri i yeah. i'm just i'm sad to lose god right right yeah. exactly yeah this uh when i so when i was listening to you guys talk about this uh um, I, I, I thought of something that Brother Angelus uh, had said to me in connection with like the Brothers K and uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky and um, Jusani said that he loved Dostoevsky because he I, I don't I don't know where he said it but like Dostoevsky asked the question how can an intelligent man believe in Christ mm-hmm. and like that's like Dimitri's question yeah he's yeah. like he like uh, he he wants. Uh, it seems like that's Ivan's question too, uh-huh. and I think it's really interesting that like Ivan. I don't know if he like continues to like maintain it after this exchange, uh, but like throughout his exchange with the devil, he's like, "You're just the worst part of me." Yeah, and like the worst part of him, like uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's too far to say that it might actually like like both things might be true. Uh-huh. Like it's 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 like an illusion, it's a dream, yeah. and the devil's actually there. Yeah, it's actually yeah. This the is devil. What we were just talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. and um, and it's really like Ivan and like the worst the worst bits of him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And like it's it's kind of like a confession of the fact that like the worst bits of him want to be a 250 pound merchant's wife and like light candles <laughs> to God and be a simpleton about it. Yeah, which is which is like. A, a glorious thing to say right i mean it's it's really uh it's saying something along the lines of even even if even if i were to sink to the pit you are still there right that's mm-hmm. the psalms mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, it is. <laughs> yes. i know i could verify well, that with you 139 oh what there he knows the number is that the vulgate 139 or the <laughs> uh, or does it does it reconnect at that point i don't remember i don't know <laughs> <laughs> that's a sister irene question <laughs> No, but I think I think it's saying like ultimately like man in his nature is a religious being and and therefore he is always going to desire that even if he sort of fails to if he has this question about what it means to 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 believe in God as an intelligent person there's always going to be this part of him even the devil has it right mm-hmm. even the devil has it and and of course this, there's this yeah. great question of is the devil me or is the devil someone else right. and and uh, Andy and I were talking earlier about how maybe it's kind of a confession of the ocean the ocean of all being and sort of the trinitarian uh, sort of like uh, circumincessio of all things even the demonic is living in me, Dang. abiding so, in so, me, I mean, it's, as it's, me it's, in some it's, sense. I mean, it's right? like the Solzhenitsyn, like, 
it's not as if here's all the good stuff over here and here's all the evil stuff over here. Right. But it's, it's not the, evil. The, 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 uh, how does he put it? Soul needs into the line between good, good and, evil and evil passes through every human passes heart. Passes through. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. 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 And and so I think um, I mean if you really if you if, if you really have to take that that serious and all good is a participation in God. Uh-huh. Um, and if 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 the I mean if, uh, however you want to think about the, the the devil and what what sin is and if that's if that's an absence or a lacking of God or a, or a, um, um, a perversion of God, then where wherever that is present, there's a participation in non-being and in, uh-huh. in, 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 and so like in some ways, just as you can say, you put on put on the person of Christ in 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 love you put on the person of the devil in um, hatred and mm-hmm. in violence and drunkenness and, and in not going to talk to the prosecutor right away yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. and so and so so why is it, it it's no coincidence that the devil then presents himself to Ivan at that moment mm-hmm. when he himself or incarnates the devil yeah right but 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 the, the devil is not just absence of good. I mean, if if he really is a personal, yeah. substantial being, and this is even if it's per this, perichoritically within me. Yeah, and this is where he. And right? this is what makes the the mystery of the the cross so mysterious. Mysterious. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. I was going to say that it makes it makes the cross so mysterious. Um, is that um, um, the, that that even in sin, and this is I mean Saint Paul too, the, the, in sin. It has the ability to, like, um, right, right, um, yeah. um, uh, redeem. Now, now, not that doesn't mean. Oh, therefore, we should sin. Yeah, um, you're just quoting Paul now. Thank you, <laughs> but, thank, thank you guys for drawing these two because I've been praying with Romans like while I've been reading this <laughs> yeah. and listening to this. Perfect. So, yeah, yeah I've been great. Yeah. So, I, I, sorry, I cut you off. No, 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 no. no I, so, but I, I, so I, I think that that like what you what you get is and and this is like yeah. There's there's a role just as there's a role of you think about your own life. I was so stupid when I was in high school and I did X, Y, and Z. Why did I do that? Um, and you kind of wish that you never would have done that. Mm-hmm. But it was only because of that. Were it not for that, I would not have yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. And maybe were it not for um, being such a stupid loser like Dimitri, thing, these things would not have happened that brought him to his conversion. Mm-hmm. Right. He would never have seen the babe, so to speak, mm-hmm. yep. um, if he wasn't such a fool early on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, if he wasn't such a sensualist, he would never have seen the babe. He seems to be aware of that too. Yeah, and, and, like, I, and I, that's like what redeems evil and, and says evil doesn't cease to be evil, but it 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 like is engulfed by good. I don't right. know, just because there non being doesn't exist, so it, it kind of gets gets um. I don't, I don't. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, I'm following you. Though. Okay. I think. I, I, you follow I, me I, into the nothing. I, I, <laughs> hey, that's where God is. <laughs> I think. It, I think it connects with like the like. Um, you guys have, have called attention a number of times to like the quote from Scripture, the from John twelve twenty four. Verily, I, verily, verily, I say to you, except a yeah. corn of wheat uh-huh. fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much life. And I don't like. I don't think it's an accident that like the book is called the brothers Karamazov and uh, that's the quote that like uh, Dostoevsky proposes to like understand the whole thing by yeah. and uh, they all all of the brothers all four of them like Dmitri, Ivan, Alyosha and Smerdikov like yeah. all go through like a death Smerdikov quite yeah. literally yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so I think no, I, exa- I mean I think that's on the nose. We were talking about this, I think. Um, and this is being, Ivan's passion. Yeah. 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 And, and so, so here, here's what's true. Um, life can, if there's going to be life, there has to be death. So in some yeah. ways, here, here's, what, here's what has to happen. This is what the devil says. Someone yeah. has to die. <laughs> right? Someone so, has like, to die. Somewhere. So everyone has to, everyone has to die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I think what, what Dostoevsky might be doing with this whole book um, is to show it's not possible to live without God. Um, and so that means that you either have to, th- when you try to live without God, because you're going to rebel, because we're all sinful, we're going to right. rebel, there's something that can happen. You can either like destroy the old man, the, the, the rebellious man, 
kill that man mm -hmm. and and live a new life mm -hmm. or all there is is death right there, there Destruct, is, destroy right? everything yeah yeah you can't live Which without god because is there is no god right? yeah. therefore yeah. there is no life right yeah. so so i think smerzhikov recognizes um end of this end of the last uh the last chapter the last interview he he the money why why does he want to look at the money again right and oh, I by the way it's sitting under the uh oh, i know i, I <laughs> know under, brother under andrews would be happy about this one. yeah no, isaac no. the syrian isaac the yeah, syrian the yeah our, yeah our isaac, the syrian. isaac the syrian yeah. so um so so here t 720 this is uh, i don't know maybe two and a half pages before the end of chapter eight okay um top of 720 uh you get um, Smirnikov gives the money to, to Ivan, and he says, "Go ahead." But why do you why do you give it to me if you committed the murder for the sake of it? And he says, "I don't want it." Smirnikov articulated in a shaking voice, um, with a gesture of refusal. I did have an idea of beginning a new life with that money in Moscow. Mm -hmm. I did dream of it, chiefly because all things are lawful. That was quite right. What you taught me, mm -hmm. for you talked a lot to me about that. For there is no everlasting God. There's no such thing as virtue, and there's no need of it. You were right there. So that's how I looked at it. Um, and, and he said, did you come to that? And he said, with your guidance. And now I suppose you believe in God since you are giving it back. So here's two options. You can give it back. You can, you can let go of the money and say, I don't care about this money. Either because you believe in God or because you don't think a new life is possible at all. Like mm. there is no possibility mm -hmm. of a new life. Which mm -hmm. we had to guess, I'd say he probably yeah, I mean, believes you, that. You see, you see, you see <laughs> well, where, you what see does where, he say? Yeah. No, I don't believe, whispered Smerdyakov. <laughs> yeah, and then he says, uh, yeah, I don't believe in God. And then, and then what you get is, then why are you giving it back? And he says, leave off, that's enough. And which basically means, I'm going to kill myself. There's no new life. Yeah, I, it, I'm, it, I, there's no sense in going to no Moscow. There's no answer to that question because life is absurd. Yeah, there, there's, yeah. I'm not going to go to Moscow. I'm not going to, you know, use this to go buy brandy. I'm not going to go to Grushinka's. Well, old Grushinka. Or, or, or marry Maria Kondratievna, his, like, landlady. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. 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 Like the guitar has been hung the, up forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he's, the, I mean, there, the, there is no new life to be had. But here's what, here's what's, what, what's, I don't want to say cool, but interesting. <laughs> the very end of this, uh, before before Ivan leaves, um, uh, R721, this is like the next page, a page later. Mm -hmm. Stay a moment. Show me those notes again. Right, so, so, so he has this little hesitation. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is this is what gives me a little hope for Smirnchikov, even though, and this is like in, in sort of the Zosima style that can even pray for the, the suicides. Mm -hmm. Stay a moment. Show me those notes again. I even took the notes and showed it, showed them to him. Smerdyakov looked at them for 10 seconds, which is a long time to look at notes. Mm -hmm. Well, you can go, he said, with a wave of his hands. And then he called back, Ivan Fyodorovich. Uh, what do you want? Ivan turned without stopping. Goodbye. Right. So so I think he, he makes his decision, okay, those notes are gone. Because those notes represented for him the possibility of new life. That is, yeah. you can live a new life. Yeah without God and he says here I mean in his actions he says no nope, can't do it mm -hmm. right there is no new life mm -hmm. without God um, so, so I, his staring at the notes for 10 seconds makes him say perhaps perhaps I can maybe, live without God maybe I can live without God maybe and, and, then, and his ultimate is you can go now and, and so, then I, it's so, over. so then I don't know I don't know what to, to um, so maybe the final goodbye is really really and truly this is, this is it. Yeah. goodbye I think, <laughs> I, I, so uh Something that, that I noticed, I wanted the numbers to match up, but then I realized after like remembering a little bit further and thinking about it that they didn't. But in my mind, this was very reminiscent of a certain other pair of people who had meetings discussing the murder of someone, like Zosima and like the guy yeah, that that's he true. Met with. Yeah. And um, like I didn't I didn't realize this when I when like I like made when like I made that parallel. But yeah. I don't think it's an accident that there's like there's like this really tense moment between Zosima and the guy that he's meeting with, where uh, yeah. someone's life is being decided upon. Yeah, and it's like the guy who's trying to decide yeah. whether or not yeah. he's going to kill Zosima. Right, and, and there's like, the and there's the he comes the back. Yeah. yeah, and he stares at him and he says, "I just yeah. want you to remember I came back." Yeah, and yeah. And, and, yeah. and actually, it's Ivan goes to Smerdyakov to kill him. That's right. Yeah, he does. Third time. Well, he, he at least back. says. 
I'll kill. I'm gonna go to kill him. I'm gonna have to kill him. <laughs> That's what he thing. says. I shall I mean, kill. I shall kill him. Perhaps. This perhaps. Time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but also, um, with, so, but so, also the, the life, the, the other life that I think you're talking about is Smerdyakov's, yeah. where he says, "Come back." Yeah. And here, his life is being decided. Yeah. And he kills himself. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. But 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 so, he killed himself at that moment, right, right. there. Right. But but is, so after this, so after uh, Ivan throws the glass at the devil, Alyosha comes in. The devil's gone. Um, I also got the impression there that was like the mysterious visitor and hmm. Zosimo because at the end um, Alyosha realizes since Smerdyakov is dead no one's going to believe him when uh-huh. he confesses uh-huh. and he's like right. I really hope he does and that's exactly what happens to the mysterious visitor no one believes him because he went quote mad right and this is oh wow well th- I mean I don't know how far you are into yeah, I won't say anything more because that just made me realize something yeah. for like later in the book yeah. at the trial right, <laughs> but, but no, Alyosha these guys that. might not be there but, either note that but <laughs> Alyosha says Alyosha says perhaps they're not they won't believe him if Smerzhikov is there to not like deny or to this to, is you know, so so i think i think this is it, it's it's got to be deliberate it's got to yeah. be deliberate there's there's like there's like tragic irony about that though too yeah. because like uh i mean no one no one believed the guy when he fessed up for like murdering someone of his own accord right but like he has this really wonderful life afterwards yeah um, yeah i don't think I mean, it's pretty pretty clear. Like the like the 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 author that like whose voice Dostoevsky is like writing in has been like pretty clear throughout that like you know, it's not a happy occurrence. Not only yeah. does like Pyotr Pavlovich die, but like you know, a lot of bad stuff happens after that. Yeah. And, like, <laughs> uh, even if, even if the confession does happen, like it doesn't fall out in the same way as it yeah. does for like this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but but it, interestingly, at the and this is the very end of this whole um, book book uh, eleven. Right, um, is when Alyosha is falling asleep, laying on the couch, right, uh, with uh, uh, with Ivan, who he's afraid is like out of his mind. Um, he says um, he began to understand Ivan's illness, the anguish of a proud determination and earnest conscience. God, in whom he disbelieved, and his truth were gaining mastery over his heart, mm-hmm. right. And and so here we here's this idea right you cannot live this way there there must be if things are lawful there must be a god mm-hmm. or, or if thing not if, if if things are unlawful if, yeah. if 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 not everything's lawful right, right. Um, yes the thought floated through Alyosha's head as it lay on the pillow yes if Smerdyakov is dead no one will believe Ivan's evidence but he will go and give it and Alyosha smiled softly God will conquer he thought mm-hmm. he will either rise up in the light of truth or he'll perish in hate revenging on himself and on everyone his having served the cause he does not believe in. So, which, which is which is that, which is the dichotomy we were talking about earlier between, right? You 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 either die and, and live born a new again. life, yeah. or you die mm-hmm. into nothingness. Right, mm-hmm. right. Um, There's only death. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and then and and then I mean, death is inevitable. And right. then I think it's it's. This is why maybe I mean it's all it's all sort of swirling and coming together maybe. Uh, as we speak, for me, um, why the question? Which is why we have this conversation. Why the yes. question of the future <laughs> life? Listen. Yeah, the future life is really an important question for all these people, not yeah. just of God, but of this future life. Yeah, right. And I think um, it, it, it's, it's for this reason because, mm-hmm. of course, of course, there's going to be suffering and crucifixion. The question is, is, is that something that's going to, like, give? not just give rise as like a means to but is that going to be active love which right. which sort of is a new life mm-hmm. um, or mm-hmm. is it like even going to be meaningful yeah like that's mm-hmm. like yeah, yeah. that's like really important too mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah and so it seems like this this these two chapters with the devil and and then it was he who said that when Alyosha shows up is it's the delirium chapter for it's Dimitri, D- Dimitri was delirium Ivan is the devil and, and it's, Alyosha, but the same thing is happening. Alyosha and Alyosha is the wedding at Cana. Yeah, the wedding at yeah, Cana absolutely. and and uh, the uh, critical moment, the critical yeah, yeah, moment. The critical moment yeah. yeah. Well, so, the critical moment. I mean, yeah, it's Alyosha and Gr- Grushenka. Right, right, uh-huh. right. I mean, both of them at the same time, sort yeah, of like. Yeah. And we kind of talked about that. Yeah. But I think like the this 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 moment of turnaround that, that Dimitri has is happening here in Ivan. Although by the time he goes to sleep, and this book ends. We don't exactly know if he's gone the Dimitri route, right? And says, you know what? I'm going to go sing a hymn to God in the underground. 
um, we're not sure. Although Alyosha has hope, but he's still praying for Ivan, right? Mm, and that's, that's how it ends. Yeah, he pray again. He prayed for Ivan because he realizes like this is his critical moment, mm -hmm. right? This yeah. is where he can yeah. begin to sing the hymn, or or he can go the way of Smerdyakov and find a nail on the wall. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I know. Man. So that I mean, so we're at fifty nine minutes. Okay. Um, any any final thoughts? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two things. Two, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't say final thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't listening to you. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So I, I wrote on the side of the book on seven seven thirty five in the middle of the devil chapter. Um, and, and I think we're, we're talking about this right now, but then I wanted to go back one to one more point on the devil. Uh, but first I want to talk about this. Uh, he, this is the, the paragraph, my dear fellow, I've done nothing else, right? Um, talking about um, tempting him to holy men, right? Uh, tempting the holy men, yeah. Uh, and he says, one such soul, you know, is sometimes worth a whole constellation. Talking about basically the John the Baptists. Mm -hmm. We have our system of reckoning, you know, the devil's saying this, right? This is very screw tape. The conquest is priceless, and some of them, on my word, are not inferior to you in culture, though you won't believe it. They can contemplate such depths of belief and disbelief at the same moment that sometimes it really seems they are within a hair's breadth of being turned upside down, as the as the actor Gorbunov says, whoever that is. Oh, I need to read him. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. But I think uh, I need to read Bernard, too. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever, <laughs> but, which which I love how he yells Bernard in the trial. It's so yeah. funny. So many times. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what the heck he's talking about. But uh, but I wrote on the side to Lubach because this is there's if if, if you remember and Jager, Marcel, Marcel probably too. Yeah, but I know Delubach better. Okay. Uh, that that great paradox where he says the truest truth truth and the falsest fallacy is but a step away from each other. Yeah. Mm. And I think this is true right here. And I think this whole thing the devil's saying about doubt and faith, and he talks about sowing a tiny grain of faith that turns into an oak tree. Yeah. All of this is kind of going to this idea that uh, there's this, there's like, it's the it's the critical moment, right? It's Smerdyakov, it's Ivan, it's Dmitry, it's Alyosha, it's Grushenka. There is, the, um, there is a hair's breadth where you can turn everything around. And uh, and yeah. and even the person like John the Baptist is a hair's breadth away from from total destruction, mm -hmm. right? Um, which I think is, I mean, in my own my own living or attempting to live the Christian life, I've seen this many times, <laughs> many yeah. times, yeah. right? And of course, there are those critical moments in your life where there's a real turnaround that happens, but there's so many others that are that are probably could lead you pretty far down the bad yeah. road, oh, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and nothing you, you had you had you had one more <laughs> i had one more okay one more. so i want to go back to the to the necessity of the devil um which uh on page 737 where he gets into this huge sort of explanation and where he brings up job actually um he says this is uh near the top of our th 737 where he's talking about the lion and the sun on his coat uh the paragraph oh, okay. huge paragraph last like a couple pages i repeat moderate I repeat, moderate your expectations. Don't demand of me everything great and noble. So, mm -hmm. moving, moving uh, a little bit into that paragraph, um, he says, "I am perhaps the one man in all creation who loves the truth and genuinely desires good." <laughs> okay, all right, right when you hear this, you're like, "Oh shoot, okay. are you serious?" <laughs> wow. I was there when the Word, who died on the cross, rose up into heaven, bearing on his bosom the soul of the penitent thief. Which is interesting that he would bring the penitent thief up. I mean, this whole book is about conversion. Right? I heard the glad shrieks of the cherubim singing and shouting Hosanna and the thunderous rapture of the seraphim who, which shook heaven and all creation. And I swear to you by all that's sacred. I long to join the, the choir and shout Hosanna with them all. The word almost escaped me, had almost broken from my lips. You know how susceptible and aesthetically impressionable I am. <laughs> but common sense... Oh, a most unhappy trait in my character, <laughs> which is interesting. Common sense. Remember when Alyosha? I'm commenting as I read. Sorry. Yeah. yeah no, no. <laughs> when Alyosha yeah. went, 
went to the went to the tombstone after the death of Zosima and yeah. and wasn't logical and how the narrator was like I just got to tell you yeah. like for the fourth time this is the re- this is a real man yeah. who isn't logical all the right. time yeah. um, and that and that's good for him yeah, yeah. It's, good, it's good for youth to be like that yeah and and ultimately it's good for everyone and and if a youth is not like that he'll never be like that yeah. mm-hmm. right um, but he says common sense oh most unhappy trait in my character so it's demonic to be always in common sense right? kept me in due bounds and I let the moment pass. wow this is actually sounding exactly like Akosha, but he does yeah. the other thing yeah. for what would have happened I reflected what would have happened after my Hosanna everything on earth would have been extinguished at once and no events could have occurred and so solely from a sense of duty in my social position I was forced to suppress the good moment and stick to my nasty task so there's, there's this idea that he is and, and he puts it this way uh, at the at a little bit a few sentences down uh, I know of course there's a secret in it but I won't but they won't tell me the secret for anything then perhaps for then perhaps seeing the meaning of it I might ball out Hosanna and the indispensable minus would disappear at once and good sense would reign supreme throughout the whole world and that of course would mean the end of everything even of magazines and newspapers for who would take them in um, and before I get to this line which I think is really important which you pointed out to me, Jager, which I missed the first time I read, which I, you know, we've talked about this so many times, I can't believe I missed it. Um, but I, I, this idea of the indip- indispensable minus, and if life really is suffering, and if you really can only have faith in the midst of doubt, then, then in a sense, there has to be something that that is contrary to God. I mean, I don't know if it's contrary to God. I don't know if that's the way to put it, but there has to be something that is, to use Balthazarian language, dramatic, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, and this is why, if he really is the indispensable minus, then it would make sense that he makes this next line. I know that at the end of all things, I shall be reconciled. I too shall walk my quadrillion and learn the secret. But till that happens, I'm sulking and fulfill my destiny, though it's against the grain. Right. So there's, and then he brings up Job. But I, I think that, like, it, it, and it's the big question of of, of how to sin, how to sin, how to sin and love correspond with each other, and yeah. how are they in some sense yeah. like bound up with each other I mean I, it sounds really nasty to say things like that but you know Paul said Jesus became sin um, so I'm kind of piggybacking off that um, but it seems like the devil is saying you just gotta have something like this to have life and if you have something like if you have cruciformity in life and, and you can only have the crucifixion if there's hatred hatred of Jesus right I mean he doesn't kill himself mm-hmm. then then it seems like it would make sense that all would be reconciled in the end. Now, I'm not going against the Second Council of Constantinople in 553. If indeed that was a legitimate council, which indeed did say the anathemas of Justinian, which say that you cannot say that all things will be reconciled, but there's doubts whether that's like part of the council. And um, I don't know, uh, I'd be willing to reinterpret this uh, in, in accord with that. But that all being said, that was my theologian coming out there. There's, 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 the, there's the speculative grain of salt. <laughs> but what's, but here's, here's, what's, here's what's awesome. I don't know how many people have read David Bentley Hart. Probably no one, but... <laughs> but anyway, also... Brother uh, Angelus probably. Um, brother, yeah, brother, yeah, okay. brother Angelus probably knows him. So, um, but but, but to me, uh, I, I even... This conversation with the devil shows you that the devil doesn't know all, right? So, so the devil is like i don't know he's he, at one point he says i don't know if god exists like yeah. i mean this is yeah yeah he says right. I, I i said it i don't know i yeah. don't know um and, and 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 he even says where we are where i live uh there's just indeter- there's a lot of indeterminacies a lot of unknowns a lot of like sort of mysteries a lot of merchant's wives yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know no, he wishes he was a merchant yeah, there are no merchant's wives it'd, it'd be easy that way but i mean i and so so he kind of he kind of likes he, he sort of sees the temptation, likes the the, the, the the world of the new science because it makes things so simple. Oh yeah. Um, and and it. it, it but like, he also says it's kind of crap. Right? But yeah, which yeah. is why he's a realist and not a materialist. And, that's and, right. That's and, right. So, so he yeah. can't. I don't think. Yeah. So I don't think he can really believe in that. So um, he kind of wishes uh, that that he could have a simple view and um, yeah. And and um, I mean, there's 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 so much so much more I think going on. Yeah. In this devil chapter, um, yeah, because he says even where we are, we have our our um, merchant wives, yeah, but but they don't they don't light candles. They're the ones that actually believe in the new science. Because where we are, <laughs> we're way past the new science. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, no, I don't so remember that. Yeah, so he basically says like, yeah, at one point, like the scientism that's going to become an old 
fad. Is, I, yeah. Basically, I think what he's assuming. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No yeah. one's going to believe in that anymore. That's what the old which, wives which were. Which is am amazingly in. prophetic for somebody writing in the mid-19th century. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, which because is, I'm not sure we were even there yet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I, I think mean, it's he, moving. No, I, mean, I think was, that's right. He was basically calling out postmodernism. Yeah. He, yeah. Was saying, he was saying, we're going to become postmodern, and we're going to sort of give up on the modern project of, of science. And yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, uh, uh, I mean, it's reminiscent as well of uh, earlier in the book in uh, uh, Zosima's talks and homilies, uh, where he talks about uh, like the like the interconnection and like the touching of like other worlds too. Yeah, yeah. Like th this is a moment of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because there's because there's again, everything's an ocean of being. And and there's a moment of that too in the third meeting between Ivan and Smerdyakov, mm -hmm. where uh, where. I can't. I, 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 we like you. You were you were reading an excerpt, and like and like yeah. just after yeah. that, Smir, Smir, Smirnikov said something to the effect of, uh, "There, no, there's just the two of us here, and a third one." Yeah, yeah. Oh he's, yeah. He's, he's he's here as well. He's God, but you won't find him. And yeah, and, and Ivan's don't like, "Who's that?" Him. Yeah, it's yeah. God. It's yeah. Providence, but you yeah. won't find him, so don't look for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so even Smirnikov is 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 being touched in some sense by this, I'm, even if he mocks it. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure. I'm still trying to figure out like how, if 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 in any way, shape, or form, him committing suicide brings forth life for other characters in mm -hmm. the book. Because I I, I, I I have to. Uh, I don't have to, but I, I I think that there's probably something to do with that. With like the quote from John at mm -hmm. the beginning of the book. Because mm -hmm. like I mean, it's no, um, obviously him dying. Yeah, but that's just a thought. I don't know. Yeah. It, um, yeah. I mean it. it that's I don't want to give. That's <laughs> scandalous. It is. It, it is scandalous. It, <laughs> it is. No, think of, think about. I'm only. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it for you. But but. but so so we made this comment earlier. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't want to ruin it for you, but here goes. Uh, uh, this is on. This is a very the very last the very last like paragraph, on, uh, book eleven. So so the very very end of the Ivan book. Uh huh. When Alyosha realizes, yeah, yeah, um, yes, if Smerdyakov is dead, no one will believe Ivan's evidence. Right. So, so, um, oh. uh, so, so there's something that could, some good could come out of this. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. I'll is look. that giving too much away? No, I have no idea no, what you're talking about. Because <laughs> I'm actually not picking up on what you're okay. saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I've like read further. <laughs> because I think, I think, um, I think Smerdyakov's suicide. Um, uh, I, I, I don't know. This is going to sound way too scandalous, but it, it, it gets externally redeemed. I don't know if that it, it, it finds a place in the order of. I mean, it has to. All yeah, things have yeah, to find a place in if, order. If you of think creation, that right? there's a, there's an external, there is an well, external, right? It, it, I mean, in the ocean of being, right? There's yeah, yeah, but but I don't really know how to make sense of the. All will be saved. Not all will be saved. Like issue, yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. So yeah, I want yeah, I want to yeah. like just leave that alone okay. because that's okay. just that's just a hornet's nest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't. Wanna, I don't want. I don't really want to dive into but, that. Although I brought it up. But but I think. <laughs> but I think. But the devil brought it up. <laughs> but I think all things have to find a place in the order. I mean, they're all. I mean, it's all, all like, um, ordered towards the good. Yeah. Right? Even and this is what the crucifixion reveals. Even sin, is ordered towards the good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. And and it doesn't mean it is good. It just means it like brings about this. Right. Um, uh, and and I think I do think you see that from Smerdyakov's suicide. Well, I mean, it, it's scandalous to say. But, I mean, we don't have enough right now. But 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 it's also scandalous to say that deicide brings about good. Right. Yeah. Which you guys were just talking about this. But it obviously yeah. does. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but it, it, and that's what yeah. the devil's trying to. I mean, in some sense, that's what the devil's trying to do. He's trying to get. Um, he's trying to get Ivan to doubt, so that he might believe. Yeah, because he's right. the only real person in all of creation that actually loves the good and truth. <laughs> yeah. Scripture also says he's the father of lies. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Not this guy though. He's just a, he's, just, he's he's just a sponge. Yeah, <laughs> he's, that's right. He's he's the aristocrat. He lost all his wealth, and uh, yeah. he's he's Bertie Wooster, man. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say he's Bertie Wooster of the underworld. <laughs> I love it.
<laughs> okay, well, I, I think that should uh, that should be enough. For now. <laughs> we'll enter that part. <laughs> and um, if the devil's insulted by that, good. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right, and we'll uh, two more conversations or one more? Two more. Know, two more. Two, two more. more. All right. Two more, and then a party. But we got to talk about the date of the party. So stay tuned stay for the tuned. date of the party because it's got to get moved. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Till next time.